As the tribe emerges from the dark, wet jungle, the tribe knows not what it will see. Bing! A print with Mr. Mike and a sexy hula girl in it. Mr. Mike got his print framed, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at that frame. That is nice. It's like lava rock or something. Check it out. Put a little thing of oil there for scale. Down, you guys. Should get a print. Here, let's put a hyperdimensional link on that hula girl's ass booty. But what? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Little update here. Mr. Mendo and Mr. Mike's shop. Where is it at? Got a little facade up there. Potential office area. Some, some. All kinds of motorcycles in here. Just motorcycles everywhere. Mr. Mendo milling about, looking for something or other. Probably something to uh, something that has something to do with his most recent purchase. You guys recognize that thing? Yeah, Mendo bought Minute Stops 150R. Crazy. Crazy. Athena, looking sexy. Kind of dirty, but sexy. And another new crew member, Kurt's boy, Levi, YouTube channel Buddhahead808, just got himself a 2004 a DRZ400. Just got it running. They did the whole top end. Everything's new on the top end. Running like a champion, new rubber. It's all good in the hood, baby. Mr. Mendo got himself a little new used truck there, 2003 Ford crew cab, not crew cab, extended cab, I don't know, I don't know the naming conventions for these things. Three door, three doors, I don't know. Anyways, something to schlep the bikes around. All right, we got in here Mr. Mike, Levi, setting up a computer, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Mr. Mike and Mendo about to make their initial order. Mike, what's that like, the initial order? It seems like, I don't know, call me crazy, but the company oh, parts, brain headache. it's a big deal. A lot of stuff on these catalogs. Yeah. They sent like five catalogs that are the thickness five of telephone books. <laughs> and this is just through Parts Unlimited, which is great. I love Parts Unlimited. Right. We're going to go through like Tucker Rocky, and KTM, but all this stuff, like if you oh. put uh, sprockets or spark plugs or oil filters, for each bike you got each individual one, yeah. all these part numbers go through, how many, it's a lot of work. So right now these guys are determining what they need to order, so how it works is when you set up a relationship with these companies, you have to make one big bulk order um, before they'll even do business with you. Is it, is it pretty steep? It's a, nice chunk it's a nice chunk of change. Okay, I would assume so. Chris has got his manual list, he's really <laughs> proud. You know, Very proud of my list. Not bad, I'm gonna say your penmanship is decent. What, this is like a fifth grader's penmanship? Yeah, that's what I mean, it's not bad. I don't even know how to write anymore. Like I try to write and it doesn't even freaking work because yeah. it's like old technology. Yeah. But we'll have enough to like, you know, probably fill most yeah. of this wall here. So what's going on here? Let's walk the tribe through what, what, what is this? This is flat, slap board. Slap board babies. Inside there. Yeah, very nice. And you put the you put the things you can hang all the different parts on, grips, bars, and they have all sorts of different attachments. So you can make shelves. They have shelves that come out. So okay. have a shelf up here with like helmets, boots, heavy stuff. Okay, nice. And uh, as you can see, there's metal in here. These will yeah. hold twice the weight as the non-metal ones. Oh, okay. So, so gloves, is, light stuff down light here. Stuff. And, uh, there's also like waterfall rocks that come out, so we can have uh, jerseys. And, oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wicked. And uh, start making our own shirts, Nine Auto Adventure shirts. That's cool. right, baby. And That's looking yeah. really good. So you guys got six of those up. You're going to fill those up. And, and then... We might put that one over here. Okay, a little, little, little specialty yeah. slap board action. And this will be all like tires and uh, you know, oils. Yeah. And just kind of maintenance items. And are you guys like kind of up on the wall right now as to like wall color kind of vibe in here. Have, like a jungle theme. Jungle of, theme? Yeah, like with some cool jungle plants and uh, like that poster you guys saw of Mr. Mike. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll have like a bunch of pictures that you took. Ooh, ooh, well, sex. That's a really good idea because that's, yeah. that's just good karma. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's just, and it's, I mean, gosh, the photographer, whoo! Yeah. It's, it's world class. <laughs> world class stuff. But so like when you walk first in the door, the yeah. first thing you see is this. Right, right, right. That's the first thing you're gonna see. And so we wanna have your awesome photography up here and people will be like, whoa, where is that? Where right, right. Do that? And be like, oh, you wanna go in to see that? Then That's good. It's a, little, it's a little sales piece. Yeah, and maybe have some cool plants on the top. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you can't see over there. You guys, are, are you gonna have anything down here in the middle or is it pretty much gonna be all along the outside? It's probably gonna be along the outside. Okay. And then there'll be like a couch right here. Sweet. So hang out. You guys gotta come stop by, tribe. So it's gonna be like a hangout zone too, not just like a park oh, shop or yeah. a place for motorcycle enthusiasts to talk about. Their just life. chill. Free internet? Yeah, free, free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh yeah. And movies projected. Oh snap! There's so much space in here. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, we've got actual broadcast on loop. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, first time opening a business of this. First time opening a business, right? Yeah. What uh anything you've come up against that you've been like, wow, that's that's heavy, that's a lot. Insurance. Insurance was a big deal, uh, because motorcycles are so dangerous. It's yeah. kinda hard to get insurance that'll cover us in case of an accident, you know. Okay. So we have insurance for the bikes and then we have insurance for the shop separately, like in case someone hurt themselves in the shop. Yeah. And um, then we have separate insurance on top of that in, as like a the umbrella. umbrella policy yeah. of, you know, millions of dollars for stuff. So there you guys go, Tribe. It's, uh, there's a lot of work that goes into opening a business here. I mean, these guys are... When we first started, we kind of thought, oh yeah, we'll get it together. Yeah. The shop will happen, but it's all... We'll just slap up a wall, start selling yeah, some yeah. tires like next no, week. No, like, hey, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, like, two months later, we're still like... Uh, <laughs> We got Levi here, Buddha Head 808, master computer tech, networking skills through the roof. A little Dell there. I don't know, Tribe. If you guys, if if you guys have uh, any business experience, you guys have done anything like this, and want to drop a tip or two down in the comment section below, please, please do. Um, these guys are definitely it's a de definitely a learning process, as well as a, you know a business venture type of thing. Anyways. Uh, I think that's about it. What should we dive into? There's so many things to dive into. It's hard to... Should we dive into the yoga... No, those are... Because then the camera bounce back and probably dislocate my elbow. Should we dive into that? Game? No. That's way too commercial. Uh, hmm. That, uh... Oh, what the heck is that? No, I don't want to dive. Mike's... Huh? Gosh, there's nothing to dive into. It's really hard to decide. Oh my gosh, I dive. Whoa. 